Hello and welcome to Survivor with Jay, Jack, and Colleen. My name is Jay. My name is Colleen. And I'm Keith. I'm a better swimmer than ring tosser. And welcome <laughs> to the show. Poor Keith. Oh, he was terrible. I felt so terrible. I, 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 I really felt bad for him. Um, I felt bad for him until the end. Well, we don't know. We don't know what he did. We don't know what he did. What was There's he waiting of, for? He they. Because he's, I don't know. Don't vote was, me out. Don't vote me out. Don't vote me out. It was I, drama. I don't, know, I don't know what I want to do. It was for drama. Yeah, exactly. It's all It's all for the show. Yeah, whatever. Um, he, lo- he lost points with me on that one. But you don't know. You don't know what the situation I is. I don't care. Pick the torch and go down. Go. Get a second chance in life. He probably did that. Like, they cut away. They probably just like repeated him saying "Oh God, Oh God," and he was like walking, but they didn't want to show him walking, so they like cut yeah, back exactly. out. You can't. It's you can't blame edit. him for the edit. Yeah, exactly. I can bl- I can blame him for not taking the tor- taking the torch and running with it. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna give him still the benefit of the doubt because I really I, I like him as a person and I want him to succeed. He's a North Carolina kid. Like, come on, Duke. Yeah. I I, I want to like. Him. All right, but anyway, um, we uh, are here to discuss the episode. Colleen, uh, I guess you're still on Extinction Island, or our podcast Extinction Island. Like, I don't know how this is going Hey, I work. did my bonus content last you week. You did. So uh, for those, uh, our patrons that give $5 or more a month, uh, the first bonus Survivor with Jay, Jack, and Colleen episode was uh, Colleen alone on Extinction Island with our son, Zach. Who has become obsessed with doing podcasts lately? It's not a us encouraging because he thing. wants to be like you. Because you um, were doing the Jay and Jack show that one time, and you let him do it. So now he's like old enough to kind of understand that it. And spoiler alert: he left just like Jay would. He did. He did. Oh my god! I think Brian said that. Uh, he was well, you like, know what? Jay's he, exit was, skills. He'd still be sitting at there deciding if he was going to. Uh, I know, Twitter. deciding if he should go or not. <laughs> well, I think you know Zach quickly realized my. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, mommy's just going to keep talking. I'm good. Bye. <laughs> Please. So, Colleen, I mean, did end up alone. Uh, <laughs> alone. Uh, at, the, at the end of everything. But anyway. I, th- I, think, I think I figured out what ex- ex- Extinction Island is. Okay. I think what it is is going to be like a, it's a, it's like a Navy SEALs. They're going to uh, last man standing or last person standing. You know, like they have to ring the bell. You're a Navy SEAL, in or out. But on this one, it's if they, you raise the flag, you're out. I think it's going to be so miserable there that it's going to be like just uh, waiting it out, and whoever the last person is gets back in the game. Oh, like okay, so it's like who That's, survives it? Yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah, but what if everyone is like strong, strong willed, and survives it? Well, they'll probably put make you know make it worse and worse for them. You know, maybe. I don't know what they're doing for food. Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. It's, they didn't really spend much time there today. It was really only the first couple minutes of the yeah. episode. I was thinking about that. So we saw her, like, eating the coconut or whatever. But uh, how messed up would it be? Because she's got to be alone on the island with just, like, you know, a camera guy or a small camera crew, right? Just yep. to in case something happens. Yep. Like, how messed up would it be if she's, like, sitting there in the shelter, like, um, you know, freezing and hungry and the cameramen are like eating a bag of chips like off to the side like well they gotta eat yeah i know well but they probably think, they you, probably eat on their lunch breaks or something like that but you think there may be a different locations so if keith does choose to go he goes to a different location i don't know and That'd they all have lame, they all man. have that that thing where they wait the flag comes up and they get the boat i think that's what's going to be it's going to be it's going to be either longevity you're trying to wait everybody out Maybe. I don't think there's, I don't think there's going to be challenges. Well, we'll see. And I'm fine with that. Again, I it, uh, last week I was like, it'd be cool if it was some type of like just pure survival kind of thing, um, and and be a true a true like stranded survivor experience. Well, she looked she looked miserable. 
I know. And uh, all she needed was a volleyball, and she would have been set. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, again, I think yeah, it it, it makes it interesting. Um, unfortunately, I didn't think there was much interesting stuff that happened there since we only have like two minutes there in the episode. Uh, but yes, uh, we had a special bonus episode for our patrons. And speaking of that, if you'd like to hear it. Uh, Contribute some money to our Patreon page. Five dollars or more a month gets access to that. Uh, Janejack dot com slash Patreon or Patreon dot com slash Janejack. Yes, Patreon dot com slash Janejack. Janejack dot com slash Patreon will not take you there. P a t r e o n dot com slash J and Jack, as well as the first Jane Jack show bonus episode is coming out next Monday. Uh, and the uh, broadcast the lo- bonus episode is coming out tomorrow, the twenty eighth. Oh, that's exciting! And I was uh, in the room as you guys recorded it, so you were. I listened to your technical problems for forty five minutes. No, you weren't um, even paying attention. You didn't even realize we had technical problems. So maybe the technical problems are on your end and not me. No, no. I mean, just calling like every time she has some issue that I have to fix. No, it's not that I asked you a specific question, but you were busy playing your stupid video games and watching The Office for the 17th time in your earbuds that I asked you several times over the course of this allotted period that I was having trouble for help, and you just kept ignoring me. So then I knew it was a very simple thing, and then once I got to it, it was like, oh, she wasn't selecting the right input again. At one point, Jay, were you ready to raise your flag? Oh, shit. I was ready to raise my flag years ago. (laughs) Um, But I'm still here. Still trucking along everything's gonna be fine <laughs> and spoiler our, our our bonus episode next week will be about robert Kraft. oh boy oh boy there you go uh oh, not gonna, right, i'm that... not getting into that one all right let's uh let's go into uh our survivor recap colleen oh and i think oh, we talked about tightening up the recap a little bit uh to doing it sex three sections pre uh uh, challenge, challenge, and trial. so is that. Does that mean we can only interrupt her three times? I don't know. I guess we can still interrupt her as much as we want. You can interrupt okay. me as much as you want. You're going to anyway. I didn't and then know I'll probably like... have to apologize to you for interrupting me. No, like but I'm no, cha. No, not at all. <laughs> all right. So, uh, how do you want to do this? This is the brand new. Um, just like what are the highlights before the challenge? What, so, what things were pre- no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, we had we had a little well, bit of the talk- e- Extinction Island, and yeah. then we had a Wendy a bit on a war path uh, still. And not she really looked like she was going to rob a bank. She <laughs> did. She did. I noticed that as well. She kept that thing in front of her mouth the whole time. Uh, and a lot of idol hunting, like a crap. Ton okay, of there was a lot hunting. of idol hunting. Yeah, so uh, we had. We kind of established that Wendy and Kelly are definitely not going to be BFFs anytime soon. Um, uh, I love how she talks about... Oh, okay. This is one of my favorite things that Wendy did this episode. She's like, Kelly has to go because she's played twice before. And she says it right in front of David. (laughs) It's like... (laughs) Well, David's only played once before. He's only played once before, but still, he's a returning player. But it's not twice. (laughs) Yeah, but she has no idea what kind of pre-show alliance they had or rapport or you know what well, if again, they have a pact Wendy to doesn't protect seem each to other like, Wendy's problem is she's a filter. talker yeah yeah she is she is a, she's a, a self-admitted talker too yeah, yeah but yeah. at least everybody kind of knows like yeah 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 this is just clearly Wendy's like a one woman wrecking ball wrecking ball right now um but they you know want to go the they do the idol hunt as a group which also seems to be uh what we see kind of happening at uh Kama, where they're not doing it so much. Kama, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Karma. We don't have to do the joke anymore. We're like three episodes into the season. (laughs) Every time I hear it, though, I'm going to do it. Can I I say something about the the, the hunting for the idol, searching for the idol? Can we do something different? It's so boring. I I know it's only a second episode. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't that. It wasn't that much. Are I you, think that we established because within the were you the, upset that Division One had such an extended kind of story? Because I well, thought it was sweet. Well, Division One won it, found it, but it's just to me, it's like, oh, here they go. They're looking for the idol. Blah 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 blah. Someone will find it. It'll be hidden in plain sight, and they'll find it. I, I just I'm bored with that. Move on. Let's find something different. Ooh, Mix it up. Old man's yelling at clouds again, guys. <laughs> it, it, is it the same thing? No. What's his, what's the strategy? It's the luck. It's the luck of the draw. If you happen to be, but searching that's the in point the right of the spot, game. That's like the game is you. Now you know you find yeah. an idol. Find 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 another way to give the people the idols. They really Jack should go on a season called Old Timers Edition. We're just like, <laughs> yeah. 
Nothing but the way it was when Richard Hatch No won. idols, no returning players. <laughs> I, I didn't say you can't have idols. It's last season it's they had idols. It's just alphabet strategy it was, all the way. <laughs> it was fine, but this... Uh, Oh, this is, we're all going out looking for an idol. Let's spend 10 minutes on the show doing that. That's fun. Well, maybe, I, I, Jack, you're getting bored with the formula then a little bit, maybe, because, I mean, that's kind I, of standard I, I said, to I the said, show. That's what I'm saying. F- find another way to give them the idols. How do you... How do you... Oh, you like the way when, when Kelly found her first idol back it was like under in... The where thing, it was in the a challenge. challenge or something. Yeah, in the challenge, somewhere like that. Or the, it just... Well, I'm sure there wanna, will I wanna, be. I get to well, second okay. episode, there's not much going on, but... Yeah. To be fair, I I liked watching it this format better than like last season or um, in Second Chances where Nick and Jeremy were just given a note being like, sneak away when everybody's sleeping and go find your idol. Who was that- ja- who was Jacket Girl last year? She, um- uh, Natalie. Uh, I don't think it was oh, Natalie. Oh, Nat- I'm sorry. Uh, it was Angelina that wanted the jacket. A- Angelina who had to climb 1,500 feet up in the air to get the idol. <laughs> Something like that where it's at least risky where she has to go so high up to get the idol. If they're just, not going to... I personally oh, wasn't ordered great, the way um- they find out. If they're uh, not going to possibly like, die doing it, then yeah, was it, it's not worth it. What oh, was, uh, it was uh, Jack's favorite player. Yeah, uh, Ty. Ty when had Ty, like, was crazy up in the tree. Yeah. Remember? And he hurt his. He like got injured. Like remember, he like scraped. Yeah, he cut and, up his legs or yeah. something like that. Or Keith, you could just put it in like three feet of water. And he can't get it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could see that, but I enjoy. It, but but there's nothing enjoyable about it. To, we did get a lot of more interpersonal like. Uh, bonds forming to see where the alliances were going to somewhat settle, even though it you know, didn't kind of fully work out that way. Well, even though they had Aubrey kind of overplaying it a bit. Yes, but to the, to the credit of the players is they don't know if the idol is going, like how they're going to, to find the idol like there could be they could be hidden at challenges but they're still going to look in the jungle because if you don't go out and look for an idol you're also kind of doing yourself a disservice because there could well, be I, one out there or you even could be the central not. park pier talking about how she's upset that they're not looking for it <laughs> i know idol, still not, not actually look looking for, for it <laughs> you could have people go out and look for the idol but survivor is a game that always evolves and always changes why do we keep giving it the same way figure out something else i mean i i, I understand even from they, jack that let me let me be the in between here. Okay. So, Colin, I understand where you're coming from. No, no, Jack, I'm just I understand saying, where you're like from. they have they have to do their due diligence. So, I think looking around I think camp, Jack's more ways. bored that as a viewer. Yeah, because we've seen this a million times, so like yeah. something new. But uh, from Colleen's perspective too, like what you rather have not looking for it. And I think this was, and it's seemingly each season more and more people are looking for it, and they're more just oh. So maybe to you, Jack, it's frustrating that everyone's just cool looking for it, and there's less drama. Right. around looking for an idol. So it's 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 the luck. It's not like when Russell Hatch, uh, not Russell Hatch, Russell Hatch went out and found the idol. When he when he first found idols, it was like, oh my god, this has never happened before. And so then slowly and slowly, everyone started looking for the idols. Like, oh come on, it's just find something new. Um, but anyway, all right, uh, let's move on from the other thing. Let's talk about Aubrey a little bit. I think she yes, was uh, about- getting a little antsy with uh, her position as a returner as opposed to a newbie. Yes. Is that what you should call a returnee, returnee maybe. Returnee. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. She, Aubrey was not very smooth. No. I mean, I thought she was fine, but they were suspicious, and like I think them going and comparing notes was. That's kind Jack of what... pouring a drink right now for those. Of <laughs> I'm sorry, he's not peeing on camera. <laughs> I'm not the Central Park peer. <laughs> I'm, I'm the Raleigh Durham peer. <laughs> Go on, Colleen. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I, I, I See, think... we're going to interrupt you just as much. Yeah, that's fine. I I would prefer that you interrupt me to clarify. But Aubrey was an, is, has never been really a great player as far as... You guys loved her her first season. Well, she should she should have won the first season, but she she her second season, she definitely made mistakes. She, she, made she par, didn't really though. get a big edit her no, second season because she just kind of went out at five and she didn't really have a big story. So we don't really know what she did. Because it wasn't. And she had like, a weak start yeah. in her first season too. Though remember she didn't. Uh, she cried. She had, yeah, she had like a panic attack or something in the tent. Well, because Sandra tent. wouldn't uh, play with her. No, that no. was her second season. Second season. First second season. season. That's the first, first, that first season. That was because yeah. Debbie was I don't know Debbieing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, she's seemingly making trying to make deals with everybody around there. And again, it could just be the edit showing it this way, but it's not a good look for her. A uh, success story to kind of this being what they're showing us. Right? Yeah, exactly. Hold on a second. I figured out how you can give the idol away. You find Debbie somewhere on the island. And you have to spend a night with her talking to you. If you spend, if you spend <laughs> if the whole night without it. without going crazy, 
you get the idol. Well, Jack, you talked about Extinction Island. Like maybe it gets progressively worse. Maybe that's one of the things they add. It's just, <laughs> oh my god! Yes, instead Debbie's of Debbie's Cochran- going to stay with you. <laughs> instead of Cochrane coming back, I was a model. Thing. I was this. I was that. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a goddess. And then just the edit is just of her just talking on it, and then just <laughs> whoever's there just goes and raises the white flag. It's like I'm done. I can't. <laughs> I can't do this. I'm sorry. She broke me. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I, I mean, no, the season's already been filmed, but and maybe they're already thinking that. But I think it would be a great idea. Who knows? We'll see. At least be comical. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, any other things? Yeah, before other people's challenge? pain is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any other things uh, pre-challenge that we want to? I don't think so. Oh, wasn't yeah. Too much. Actually, I have one thing. Okay. I would like to talk about the bromance between Dad Bod and David Wright. <laughs> yeah, I, who saw I, that coming? I one. I gotta say, if we're talking about the returning player, it's like he's playing a really good game so far. It seems like he's in with certain members of that tribe, and everybody's focused on Kelly. Um, and anybody that saw David's first game, he was a fantastic player and was voted out and would have won, I think, if he made it to the final three. Um, and well, yeah, depends. the person he won, didn't the, the person win have a, he, yeah, cause that was Adam. Or something. Yeah. And he had a story that may have tugged the heartstrings, but he would have been a very close second. What, even if David made it to the final three? If David had made it against Adam, I think Adam still would have won. Really? Adam, Adam had the story. Uh, yeah, he had the mom dying of cancer. Or, no, she was almost... She no, died she, right she after. Did die. She, she, did she die. died, like, right after he got home, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I it was a beautiful for him. story. <laughs> <laughs> cried. But, but still... As a they, mom. Again, you've, but you're talking about Kelly playing a base game, which she has, but also David as well, I think, you can see, played a, a, a really good game, um, and they're not thinking about him. They're not, but I did love that they... Uh, shook on Dad Bod cutting David at four. That was awesome. <laughs> I think everybody should like screw the final three deals. Like let's just let's cut the pretenses. Like every man for themselves once they get to four. <laughs> See, Jack, to, there's, yeah. there's a evolution in the game for you where they're kind of getting out of the the boring ruts, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, learn exciting. how to make fire, and you know we'll we'll work it out at backstab each other. Okay. Uh, cool. Which is what the game's all about. It is. Exactly. Um, and then, uh, oh, are we, do we want to talk about the challenge other than... Yeah, let's talk about... I mean, this is now we're in the challenge section of the recap. Uh, all right, well, Water we can't Log talk Snake. too much because I'm, I'm going to have Keith. challenge cast with... Oh, that's right. You do have challenge cast with Zachary. But, um... <laughs> Can we just say poor Keith, man? I, I was felt like, I, horrible I, for him. And I and even I think Jeff was setting him up to be the hero again. He was like, oh, he's going to take on the rings. Maybe he'll like you know come as. Nope. No. He was, like I said, he was a better swimmer. That's uh, what I was. I was hoping for that. I said, okay, yeah, okay, Keith, let's get a couple of these rings, bring him back, let's win the game, and you're, you're a hero. No. no. Wasn't it the first time that they did this challenge? Wasn't there somebody who almost won it? Like came back really quickly. Uh, they ended up losing, but they came back very quickly after they messed up the... I don't know. I, I They all blend together at, at some point, but um, I enjoyed this challenge, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like. it. I was it. trying to like really they dragging snakes. the snake underneath the rope. I love really big, big snakes. <laughs> I, when they were dragging the snake underneath the rope, what was Keith doing? He was like rolling. He, he was just like, like rolling summer salting. <laughs> I go, he's not doing anything. I, I think you said it. like, grab <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he was absolutely useless. I mean, he was standing around. I, I you know, you felt bad for him because he's young. He's what nineteen. Nineteen, yeah. yeah. And he wants he wants to do well. He wants to play. I get it, and it's just like you, you felt bad for him. But it's like at one one point you say, okay, just get out of my way. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, who was it that literally was carrying the snake on his back? <laughs> I felt like that. Oh, was that painful. was uh, my winner pick. Hashtag winner pick. Uh, War dog. No, not War Dog. Oh, it was, I, was, I thought my. Oh, not, no, not War Dog. Eric? Uh, no, Eric is your winner pick. Oh, sorry, Eric. I messed up his name. But Eric was on the winning team. Yeah, exactly. He had it on his back. He was like rolling over with his back. No, no, no. He was not. The person that had it on his back was on the losing team. Oh, no, no, no. no the person that had it on his back was the winning team. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought on the on the winning team, uh, Aurora, my hashtag winner's pick, or, or my hashtag top three, <laughs> she was awesome in this challenge. Yeah, she like, jumped over and was she, pulling it. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually Dad Bowed pulled a lot too. Well, he He's had to. It wasn't well, like he was well, getting Dad much help. We need someone strong up here. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> he wasn't wrong on that um, one. <laughs> but yeah, good challenge. Uh, it was we'll, fun. We'll leave. Uh, we'll leave uh, Zach to give his thoughts in the challenge cast. But Colleen, I will say, 
uh, you gotta you gotta be on your toes. I know Zach, and he'll be frustrated maybe if you're not as well prepared. <laughs> That's very true. Because <laughs> he'll just walk out. <laughs> um. Anyway, he just he just give him hold the mic and he just drops it. Well, uh, Jack, did you listen to the first challenge cast? I did. I did. I thought oh, it was okay. Funny. So yeah, Jack. Zachary I, Lewis Glad felt that. <laughs> if you didn't hear it, uh, Zach literally gets up and walks out. On yeah, Colin. so I was like, "Do you have anything else to say?" And he was like, "No." And I was like, "Okay, then." He's like, "Bye." <laughs> just, <laughs> he like just gets up and walks out of the studio, and I was like, "Well, cool. Listen to our show, I guess." <laughs> and then I'm sitting here like, "Wait, that's an option?" <laughs> <laughs> no, you were upstairs with the other one. I know. I know. <laughs> All was- right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go post challenge to tribal council. So everything uh, leading up to tribal, tribal, yeah. and post tribal. Um. So yeah. Any anything kind of bef- as we're leading up to tribal here, it's the classic edit of okay, we're gonna show that. Yeah. Did okay, anybody let's vote str- tribe strong? Did anybody think that Ke- uh, Wentworth was actually gonna go home? I thought, I thought for a moment. I thought, may- I thought maybe because last year they did such a great job with it. That maybe like there was, it. It was, it'd carry over, but no. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, this, I mean, it's a bummer. Um, and and I thought, you know. Uh, it was, was a bummer because I did want to see, like, the Keith success story. Like, yeah. how David Wright got his, you mm-hmm. know, success story the first well, season. Well, well, I didn't th- find it funny when Chris was talking about him and Keith were talking. And Keith said, I'll go do with you the final. I'm loyal. And, and Chris was like, yeah, he, you got to keep people around like that. If they promise you they're going to keep it, you know, that's how you win the game. And blah. I go, have you watched this game before, Chris? <laughs> but I, I think there is something to that, though, where it is a relationship part. And, oh, it is and a relationship you, part. You need, you, you need a voting block or at least a, you know, a, a four-person. You need someone you can trust. And I probably, at that point, Chris, I might have kept Keith because I think he would have been loyal. But then you remember the first week, the minute it got a little hot under the collar, he he, he bolted on Reem and uh, – and, well, because um, I think he was being smart, and he and he went. Well, and it was where, smart, but that, but it also sets you up like, okay, you're not really true. Not yeah, but be, I think that was still at the point where alliances were still forming, yeah, so kind of it fluid. wasn't like he had a. I, like I said, I might have, I probably would have kept him around. I would have got Wentworth off. I would have voted her out. Right. That would have that would have been my vote. I, I would get her out of there, so she can't get on a roll. I mean, she's she is good in challenges, and she's a smart player, and. Well, Jack, I mean, you said, you said the beginning uh, of our first episode, like if these people, they let these uh, returning players hang around, none of them should ever be back on this show. So you're, you've, you've, you've laid your line yeah. in the sand. Uh, none of them. And, none uh, of them. <laughs> Just, you're, what, you guys are one and done. But what do you think? Yeah, I do actually, think no, there's... I will have a question for Jack. Jack, so what would your strategy have been today then when you had the opportunity to possibly get Wentworth out? Because, you know. Well, obviously you have to go with what the. The crowd's going. If, if it's if it's nine to one or whatever it was, uh, I think it was one for Wendy, one for Wentworth, and the rest were probably for Keith because he stopped at the fourth vote. I'm, I'm not going to rock the boat. I'm, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the. Uh, so you're going to try uh, to do it like uh, Chris uh, was it Chris? Chris tried to do it today where he or I'm sorry, Dad Bod and Chris where they were kind of trying to make it sound like each other and everybody else's idea or. Yeah, I mean, you you you, you float it out there, but like I said, I'm not going to be like War Dog. War Dog is coming on too strong. He, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna. Eventually... Well, you know, he calls himself War Dog, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to expect here. But you know, people like that that are the the ones that are telling you how to vote. Yeah, eventually they they get you know they get kicked out because people go, "Don't tell me how to vote." Yeah, well, that and you know, I, we had a lot of like maybe because he kind of looks like Tony, like a more handsome Tony. But he is not showing any type of really good strategy or, or game mechanics or game IQ uh, to kind of put him in that same category. Game so IQ, far. I like that phrase. Um, but but, we'll, but like we'll I said, see. I would want Wentworth out, but I'm not going to rock the boat because you, you can't do that early. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, right. baby. Don't rock the boat. You see it all the time where someone goes, no, no, I think we should do this. You're going against the crowd, and the crowd goes, we ought to screw you. We're going to vote you out. <laughs> right. So uh, we we get to tribal and um, and yeah I I for me my perspective on it was I I thought Kelly was gonna go home because I thought it'd make more sense to keep Keith right now but you know that's obviously not what happened and I th- I think Keith was obviously blindsided by it. Well, that but they they want the shield and I, th- I said well. I get, I get that's what, I get the shield. But that's I how get, you get into the trap of keeping the returning players until yeah, the end yeah. is you use them as the shield like the. 
<clears throat> excuse me, the one thing that Tony did that shocked everybody at the time is remember it was nine and he took LJ out and every single podcast I listened to and because I, I was on the tribe at the time. Was I was I with you guys at the time? I think you were a tribe. Maybe. I think I was maybe no, I was we, with we you didn't guys. Have, we didn't have long recaps then. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody I, I'm, I think that I was with you guys too but everybody was talking about how it was too early to get him out and you know you don't make the big move at nine because then you become the target and he was well, kind of right I mean in a way but he was he was the target and nobody went for him yeah because I think he scared everybody but he had just enough to deflect onto Spencer that first season and Cass he was lucky that he had Cass who was making enemies that people wanted to target her as well um, and he had the you know his his uh, like um, uh, what's the like your like Kim had Chelsea like your like token friend person that you know is definitely not going to get the votes but they're with you until the Ooh. end. Yeah, he had woo. That's what I'm saying. Like he had woo there. Okay, I think so. He, he had he had like a great kind of thing going on where I think he recognized that even if he took out somebody like LJ, like a big threat that you'd want to hide behind. Whereas every he still had other people that he could deflect it to, and that is something that uh, could be considered when you're thinking about do I hide behind the Joey Amazings until you know we get to the final, you know. Seven, you, six, you run seven, the eight, risk or... these, if they're good at challenges, you run the risk of them making a run and your plan goes up in smoke. Yeah, I mean, I think the point I think it proves, though, is that every person's game is different. Like, only Tony can play a Tony game. Right, and, yeah, you're right. And if the stars align, it'll work. And, say, like, look at Wendell. Uh, he went up, it was like uh, the first Thai tribal, but he still won. Um, and he played his game, and he brought you know the strongest person with him till the end, and he still won. Um, so I think you know each player is going to play their game that works for them, and it's not. And there's a lot of you know, there's all these podcasts, all these talking heads about Survivor that this is how you have to do it. You do it at seven or whatever. But you know each player I think has to play their own game that works for them and their style. Plus, plus each game is different because they're constantly changing up the game. They have yep. merges. They have you know. But they're all they and... all have an they all have an episode where they're looking for an idol. Which yes. pisses Jack <laughs> off. It doesn't piss me off. I'm just saying it's boring television. <laughs> just watch if we're going to change it next year dry. and be like, what is this? Oh, <laughs> bring back the old thing. Like say, like say, say Wentworth makes the final three and Division One is in the jury. Who do you think she's voting for? Wentworth, Wentworth. because it's her freaking idol. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, don't know how many times we saw it. with my idol. <laughs> like, that storyline has to be going somewhere, right? Because... It's true. They've, they've shown us it. Oh, like... my God. And well, she, buried the, she buried her idol pretty deep. What, about a half inch? I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was going to find that Oh, we thing. didn't talk about that. That was kind of ridiculous. Tony, Tony's uh, spy shack was, was, his, dig- uh, was, was deeper. deeper than that. <laughs> was deeper than okay, that. Okay, but actually, you bring up a good point, Colleen. I think I'm going to make a prediction here. Bold prediction. That it's not going to be because she votes for her to win or whatever. It's going to be it's going to be like the whole thing where she voted out her mom. Uh, it's going to be like she's going to vote out uh, Kelly or Kelly's going to vote out her, and it's going to be a very big like. Oh, I love she'll her, be, she'll, I be cr- she'll be crying at the at yeah the, exactly the, at the parchment, <laughs> and then she'll be a returning player like she's the one who voted out her idol. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, everybody idol. needs a pre uh, pre written tagline <laughs> yeah, from <right>? Jeff, <laughs> and it's just like voted out her favorite player. Um, what do you want to? What do you want? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw another curve in here. What if What if she gives Wentworth her idol to oh. save her? Uh, oh, she, uh, she's uh, she seems very smart. I don't see her doing that. I, I I'm just saying. That. I hope she doesn't do. Uh, Wentworth's a good player. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. I think Jack um, is on to something. So Keith is uh, booted. He yeah, at least he is very. He was very upset, but he had you know still pretty good uh, language. Like, darn it, gosh. Dang, Gosh darn it! Dang it. Well, yeah, Kelly had a very strong reaction to somebody walking off saying "Darn it, darn it!" <laughs> I was like, but, "Kelly, calm down." Yeah, I was like, "I was like, well, it's fine." He's like nineteen, chill. Um, <laughs> and he's not even sorry. Like he's man. not cussing. Yeah. <laughs> so he gets to the thing, and uh, he's being trepidatious. And Jack already alluded to this, but uh, Jack didn't like that so much. Grab the torch and move. I've already said if anybody takes the. You, Another path, yeah. I, I, they're dead to me. Another line in the sand for Jack this season. I, but I'm done. 
Um, it, at least it made for good TV. I'm, I'll be bummed though if he doesn't take because I want to see the dynamic of more than one person there. Just as a viewer, I want to see what that is. He'll take it. And you had the extra kind of scene with uh, Reem at the end after the credits where oh, she was, uh, yeah. where she said, you know, it's been three days. If somebody else doesn't show up here, I'm raising the flag. Um, well, you know why? Because she didn't have anybody's clothes to dry. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> she's going. She's going stir crazy. Well, I mean, that's I think what's fascinating about this this concept. Like, it could be really interesting just showing people. I, going I did crazy. like how she said she didn't realize she was being obnoxious. <laughs> she did say that. I mean, she I didn't know. realize she was being obnoxious. So, yeah. Well, that's probably honest. I mean, I few of us really do realize when we're being obnoxious. <laughs> I know. Um, anyways, uh, I'm doing that, it on purpose. That, I usually realize it cause I can sense the room, but I'm like, well, I've come this far. So <laughs> let me keep digging that hole. I, I'm going to go pee in the park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me find a bush. <laughs> All right. Uh, that no, no, I'm just going to pee in the park. <laughs> That ends our recap, and now it is time for some that, listener. That teeter totter is wet on one side. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, let's go to some listener feedback. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> while I, uh, I think we're gonna uh, do our ad break. Uh, yes, we are. We'll do our ad break, but before we do, do you guys think that Keith was the right choice tonight? No, I think you go well, Kelly. I, I go Wentworth. All right. So there, you guys have it. Uh, we officially think that they made the wrong choice. Yep. And uh, now let's take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsors. Right. Oh, man. What a great advertisement. Thank you so much <laughs> to our advertisers. Uh, They're my favorite. Uh, that, that help uh, support the show yeah. for the $1.50. I was saying the time stamp as you came back in from it. Show. <laughs> um, all right. So let me put in some listener feedback music and we'll roll into the, some listener feedback. Here we we have listener feedback music? Yeah, I'll just use the same one from the last show and the Jane Jack show and all that. Here we go. Listener feedback. All right, it's listener feedback time. Lazy podcasting. Wait, why is that lazy <laughs> podcasting? <laughs> Using the same song for every it, intro it, for it, it, every Told podcast. you it'd be funny if hold I on, said it again. On. Now, this the, the <laughs> listener feedback little jingle there is the first one I ever made for the Jane Jack podcast. Really? It was used. Well, you did. What about the opening? Live from Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, no, it's more like this. Live from Raleigh, that, North Carolina. That wasn't on our first ever episode. It wasn't. No. Which, is it? Is it still on iTunes somewhere? Episode one? Yeah. Most definitely. October 1st, 2015? Yeah. Uh, October 1st, 2015. Sorry, 20, oh, 2005? <laughs> 2005. 2005. I was um, off five years well, that's true. That's true. Um, no, so October first, two thousand fifteen. You I guys did a I, live I did, show. The second episode is where I made the music, and I think I had that little listen. This little listener feedback bit. Because I said we're doing a second one. <laughs> In the second episode, I think the audio was all like Jack's audio was super low, super low, and nothing has changed in fifteen years. Yeah, but um, no, Jack is way later now. I, I don't know how now his audio just blenders. sounds like crap. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, Colleen, what do we got? All right, so our first email comes from JP. Uh, Hi, JJC. I just wanted to quickly congratulate Survivor for giving us the immunity challenge that finally almost crossed the line. Pulling the snake out of its cage. <laughs> <laughs> you know Jeff loves his... Uh... He loves his... <laughs> Inappro- accidentally inappropriate comments. That's the only thing that makes Jeff smile. Yeah. Uh, do you think his that... face is too tight now to smile? <laughs> That's true. Uh, JP asks, "Do you think the length of the snake or its girth made the challenge difficult?" I think it was more of those waterlogged, but yeah. Uh, well, well, probably the length because you, you only have so many people to carry it, right? True. And it's harder to get up over it. But it's girthy, then that weight is spread out. And you need like two people. Per I think it was side. more that it was just so limp, you know. Yeah. That's that's true. It was like dead weight. It was just like dead in the water. <laughs> so you keep you keep trying to lift it up and it's just not you know, it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything <laughs> to help you. You just give up. Yeah. You're frustrated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take the little blue pill and see if we can get something yeah. better. They say this has never happened. Why oh why I never didn't had I take the blue pill? <laughs> 
Uh, P.S. Any chance next week the survivors will have to toss salads? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I feel like that was not a family friendly email. Uh, our next email is from Victoria. Victoria. Uh, Dad, come on, Jesus. So first, let me state how upset I am that Victoria is just sitting back and letting the boys look for an idol. You're not being very victorious, Victoria. <laughs> it's true. It's true. That's who I picked, right? That's I keep forgetting. Yes, I you yeah, and I picked Victoria. Pick. Yeah, both yeah. of you did, and she didn't have a good showing today. I didn't think she had a horrible showing. Well, at least I saw her. At least I, I, I yeah. I, I, I'd say, oh, that's you right. Saw, I you saw her. No, you saw Julia this week, too. <laughs> Julia had a line. So that was exciting. Oh, well, that, that's who I meant, Julia. I have Julia. You picked Victoria. You and I have the same winner's pick. Victoria, Victoria winner. Okay, I was thinking but Julia. Julia, um, a.k.a., you know, fate brought me here. Is yeah. is in your top three? That's right. Yeah, yeah. She had a moment. She with, totally did. But it's more Aubrey's moment. Yeah, it was to, yeah. to show how Aubrey wasn't playing very well. Yeah. So well, I said, wait, is that who I the edit didn't want. To yeah, that's who I picked. Okay. Uh, Victoria continues. I was somewhat underwhelmed by this episode. I mean, I had some serious meh vibes. Mm-hmm. The vote was obvious. Aubrey was twenty over- minutes looking for an idol. <laughs> the vote was ob- obvious. Aubrey was overplaying. What more War- like obvious? Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> War dog. Did I just a- get voted out? I did. It you, happened. You, you should, did. <laughs> you just want to get voted out so you can do a podcast with Zach again. You're jealous of the moment no, we shared. No, I'm good. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> War dog is a jerk dog, and I felt that the editors were forcing a blind side. I I agree. I do agree because we didn't kind of talk about that at Tribal, where you know. The dude that got blindsided did this like token. Uh, I think it's going to be a blindside tonight speech because we all think we're going to not get voted out. Yeah, that was a good discussion. It was. It was a good discussion. It was just you know once he kind of had that moment, I was like, ooh, I think he might get blindsided. Um. Anyway, moving on. It's on Continuing my bucket on. list. Yeah, <laughs> it's on my bucket list to get blindsided. <laughs> I would consider it an honor. Yeah. Actually, yeah. that would be, a, 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 whatchamacallit, Division One. Yeah. I would consider it an honor to be put in that fight. Yeah. <laughs> I came here to do three things. Win Survivor, drown, and get voted off on the blind side. <laughs> by my idol. But only by my idol. <laughs> if I could be voted out by my idol, by being idled out by my idol. That, that would be, be dream. a dream come true. <laughs> While I sit there idly by. Yeah, we need a t-shirt that says that. Or at least a box. Didn't, didn't, didn't she say she still has her body or something like that? I don't know. I, I thought she said that. something. They said something. About, I can't remember that. I didn't write it down. Maybe. I mean, I could have been like t- t- uh, taking notes during it and missed it. But uh, Victoria continues, I've never seen them talk about a blind side so much in Survivor history. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> and the cliffhanger was trash. Ooh. I kind of agree. Victoria. I agree. Like, if you want the cliffhanger over what decision they're going to make, you do that, you know, at, like, the fourth or fifth one after we're kind of like, oh, look, another person chose to go Why there. They just set itself up. If he would have just, like, went and picked it up right away, then you don't make a cliffhanger. But I think they just set him up the I way suppose. he was doing it. Or <laughs> he actually did decide not to go forward with it. Um, so again, they had to make it interesting, and to make it interesting, you make it a cliffhanger. But again, I hate to be that guy who keeps complaining, but he made such a big deal about getting voted out and not wanting to get voted out. I mean, he was shocked about getting voted yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. And then he gets to the thing, okay, wow, I got another chance? Well, I mean, Reem did. She goes, I'm all in. Yep. I could see if he'd been sick, you know, or just there was a bunch of swimming challenges coming up, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. But, but he, there was no reason for him to hesitate. Right. Well, maybe it's yeah. just uh, the the, oh, the adrenaline from just coming, getting voted off and blindsided. Yeah, and, and the frustration and be like, "Screw this game! I'm done. I'm taking my toys and going home." Yeah, I'm a quitter. All right. Anyway, finishing up this email, she said, "This season needs to pick up, or I'll be complaining for the rest of the season." <laughs> Victoria, it has out. the first two episodes have been a little slow. Uh, Victoria, you can you week's. can join uh, Jack on a Survivor rant cast. Oh my God! Week. Yes, <laughs> that'll be our bonus episode. That'll be our bonus episode. Survivor rant cast. <laughs> well, so Jack. far Victoria was 
of the two emails, Victoria was 100% spot on. <laughs> I don't know what JP was doing. Do we ever? He was doing the snake. <laughs> um, all right. Next email. Our, our last email is from Mandy. We're only Mandy? two. Mandy? We are only two episodes in, and Maddie, that's her daughter, is crying at the end because Keith got voted out. How could she possibly be emotionally attached to a player already? <laughs> She's like the players on Survivor that cry out like the first time they vote someone out. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what do you care? You're the still in the game. Emotions are high, you know? Yeah. Uh, Jack, please tell me how to deal with emotional preteen girls. Uh, this is what you do. Drink. You move out. You move out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd ask Jack. He wasn't necessarily uh, the, the emotional uh, support one in the teenage years. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. It was just. It was too much. Well, you would. You would actually call us and say, "Don't come home." <laughs> <laughs> Wine and well, because we had two house. of them, you know, at the yeah. same time, and it just was like. Hey, so now I she's had, the one home watching the kids. I had two sisters, and we were five years apart from start to finish. So I feel. But aren't you guys still the same way? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> her poor, her poor father. I just. I, I know my dad like, was broken by the time we were. I was like thirteen, and I my think that's why he hikes, like right? <laughs> it's why he hikes just to get away from yeah, you people. <laughs> It's like, you know what? What activity can I do? Like climbing mountains alone. Oh, hiking. Perfect. Yeah, there's a bunch of rattlesnakes in the area. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I have to do? I have to write like seven books. It's going to take a lot of time, a lot of hiking. Yeah. I can't be around. Oh. <laughs> I got to do a lot of research. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's my, my dad didn't have a lot of quiet growing up either when I was growing up either. <laughs> uh, you know. Um, yeah, I only had to like live with one of you, and I couldn't imagine having all three of you. <laughs> well, technically, several times a year you do live I with I know, and it's you. the worst weeks of my I life. Oh, it. stop it. I saw him sitting at a table while you guys were all going off, and he was just, you could just see he had, he had gone somewhere else. <laughs> he was still sitting there, but in his mind, he was off hiking or just in his happy place. I was, try, I was trying to talk to him. He's like, huh? What? What? <laughs> Can we go out and look at your tree? Sure, let's go out and look at our tree. <laughs> All right, enough. Stop it. Daddy, if you're listening, we're just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, Mandy continues, I was down on Extinction Island in the preseason, but loving it now. I feared we'd be spending a lot of time there, but a little in the beginning and the end, a little in the end is just enough. JP is going, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now on to the masked singer, hashtag Team Monster. I don't know what that means. Uh, thanks. Is that the uh, the show that afterwards? Show okay. No, I think the shutters is that chat, like, world's best. Thing. Oh uh, yes. Oh, we, didn't, we didn't talk about the dancing they did. Why were they? Oh my god! So why did we talk about the dancing? The dancing was my favorite part of the whole episode. Why, so why, why were, why were the they laughing like the it was the funniest thing in the world? Because it was funny. Fun. Aubrey yeah. didn't like it, but that else is having. Fun. I've been. Ra- I'd rather watch them look for idols. Oh my god, oh my I would god. rather he... them do the dance. Ron, <laughs> teacher Ron, like that man can bust a move. I want to party with that guy. Yeah. He looks <laughs> like he'd be super fun. <laughs> he has an idol, right? He has an idol. He's he one that rolled Yeah, he's through. got yes. He rolled okay. around. <laughs> I found now, it. I found a lot of people it. like to roll around in the dirt and sand this season. <laughs> yeah. Or just bury it. You know, you know where the, <laughs> so bury where the tide the can dirt, take it away. Find her idol. <laughs> But it was it was wet sand, so the tide is going to come up. Yeah, I I didn't. Maybe that's why they showed it because she's gonna it's gonna she's gonna come back and it's gonna be gone. Oh my god! That or actually, some or someone finds it. Yeah, maybe. Now, what's the rule? If someone finds it, do it's they get theirs. to keep it? Yeah, they do. I think so. Yeah, I mean, if you're not stealing it, it is you just happen to come across it. I'm find sorry, it. you you find a thing and you put that. It's a crotch idol immediately until you find it. Yeah, I don't know why she didn't crotch idle it because where she put Maybe she it, she didn't feel comfortable. Where she put it, like I know her. Actually, that was really tight. Like she had like bikini shorts yeah, it was on. Yeah, bikini shorts. Or bikini, like... not bikini shorts. Bikini like bottom. Like I think when Kim did it, she had like board shorts or something. Yeah, yeah, like the actual little like, yeah boy shorts or whatever. Yeah. You can hide it, but you hide it in in a better spot than put it in your butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> you like the watch in uh, what's it called? Uh, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. <laughs> You don't want to. You don't want to pulp fiction the idol, but. No. Um, all right, Here, Jeff. Here's my idol. 
<laughs> They'd be a little stinky. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine removing it from your butt? How about a chocolate covered pretzel? <laughs> oh yeah. Would you like a chocolate covered pretzel? Um, I, can, I can say this is an idol. <laughs> <laughs> it was an idol. <laughs> and remember, you can bid on it after the end of the year. It all goes to charity. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sure there's some like fetishists out there that would love them. You know, in 10 years, we'll have another show where it's it where we have oh the idols God. come back into play. Oh, <laughs> oh this God. is the one that was stuck in that person's butt. Yeah, but can you reverse the curse? <laughs> can you reverse the curse of the butt idol? <laughs> Oh, my God. No, okay. it did seem like a terrible hiding place because it didn't seem deep enough and it did seem like where the water was going to come up. But whatever. Uh, <laughs> thank uh, you for our feedback. Yes. Mandy said, what Patreon level would we need to get to for a uh, JJC Masked Singer podcast next season? Oh, my God. Well, first, I would need to watch the show. <laughs> Second, still no. <laughs> All right. Um, well, if Dancer, is Dancing with the Stars done? Maybe uh, uh, Jack, you and Cindy can pick that one up. I don't think oh, it's going to happen. Is it over? Dancing with the Stars is done? Uh, rumor is it could be done. People were not happy by the ending of last year. Oh, last year. wait, who won? Sharna and uh, the, the country guy, Bobby Bobby the country guy. <laughs> he's a, he's yeah. like the world's largest country DJ. But didn't they have like the four-week Olympic people where Adam Rippon won? Um. Either well, way, this is know. great podcasting. I'm going to move this topic along. Uh, it is now time to tally the votes. Yes, let's do it. Um, and uh, I had Keith. No, <laughs> no you didn't. <laughs> I had Keith drowning. <laughs> um, let's go to the preseason picks. Keith, Colleen, you said merge, so Aww. no point. I said final three, no point. Ow! And Jack, you said merge, no points, so no points on the. So no wonder you're so cranky today. I just lost a merge. You lost a final three. <laughs> uh, and uh, Jack, well, you said well, no. He can't. It doesn't count if he comes back in, right? Uh, it does not count. Okay, I think that's what we said. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, that's what Jack and I wanted. Oh you said God, if they come back in, it counts. You said you made this complaint last episode where I said no. It's the other thing. So you, you've complained about it every episode. Just you like to complain, but. No, that's, that's not true. Go listen to it. I don't know why people like to complain all the time. It's did you listen they... to our episode last week? Yes, I did, actually. I did as well. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. BS. I did. If you listen to one of our episodes, I will. I don't know, but Jay, I will be Jay shocked. yells at me every week for not listening to Jay and Jack, the Jay and Jack show. Yeah, Jay and I are both trying it. to pull this clip up on our phone to prove that we're each right. And I'm going to be right. I really strongly think. Yes, last week I complained about the fact that in whatever. What's that? What? No. What? what? Hold on. Huh? Oh my god, you're not going to go through the whole entire show on this episode. I'm not going to. Um. Anyway, I'm just going to find so, the part where I was right. Uh, Jack, for who we thought was going to get voted out in this episode, I had uh, the, the Central Park Pier. Yeah, you did, Julie. So she, you got no points. Colleen, you picked Rick. Oh, I did pick Dad Bod, didn't I? Um, was you hate Dad Bod? I don't he hate. Goes by, him. He goes by Devin, doesn't he? I, maybe I don't know. I don't know no, 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 no. You're talking of Gavin. Gavin, Gavin. That's yeah. Dad Bod. No, Dad Bod is Rick. Gavin's the guy with the, the flower tattoo on his shoulder. Gavin, no, yeah. no, no. But Jeff doesn't call him Rick. He calls him by his last name. Oh, he calls you right. He calls him by his last name. He calls him Eat Fresh. <laughs> And I said Wendy. Uh, <laughs> and so nobody got no no points. So that means Jack's still in the lead with two. Jack, 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 and Colleen Jack, and I have one. Uh, hey, and if I win, can we can we have the producer survivor change how they find the idol? Uh, sure. Can we make that an option? Uh, episode three, who is going home? Colleen, you have the first pick. Oh, shoot. I got to look at the list. I need to think. I feel like we're due for a tribe swap soon, but I think it's going to be episode four. Now, spoiler alert, this is in the trailer, so skip ahead a oh, couple seconds. But, I didn't uh, see it. Uh, oh, you didn't? Okay, well. No, it's, you spoil me. I don't care. Uh, in the trailer, it looks like Wendy has a oh, hurt uh, leg of yeah. some sort. A pretty nasty one. I was going to guess her just so for. Do, do we want to say voted out, or do we want to say who is. Which one's Wendy? The, uh, uh, the, the with bandit. With blue hair. Blue hair bandit. Oh, Okay. 
you know, I was going to say Wendy just because I feel like she's going to get on everybody's nerves. And I don't think that I think that Kelly has reasserted her control. Um, I don't think they'll have a double. Do you think they'll, that if she gets medevac, they'll have another elimination? I think it depends or? where she gets medevac. Right. How bad is the injury? And it's black it, and blue. It's a big bruise. It's pretty nasty. Oh, suck it up. I'll go with Wendy because I think that she might be too much of a liability in general, and they might be starting to think that there's going to be a tribe swap soon, so they won't be as afraid of keeping people around, of kicking somebody off that you know could help them win. Um, I was going to go Wendy, but since you picked her, I'm going to say Wentworth. <laughs> kind of to your point, they're going to think there's going to be a little tribe swap. Time to get rid of some one of the returning players. Truth. All right, Jack, your pick. I'm going to stick with the Central Park Pier. I think she needs to go. I bet that th- that's assuming that the common tribe's going to lose, and they're not going to lose until there's a, a tribe swap mingle. Well, they, they got rid of their weakest. They've gotten rid of their two weakest players. Yeah, still right? they stink in general. But they 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 you don't have still, Joey amazing. If someone could throw a ring, they could have won. True. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what they were doing. Well, the Chris was doing all right. He was all right, but he he he'd like throw it. And he'd like. He'd stand there, even if he got it, he'd stand there and look at it. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, that's yeah. cool. All right. Yeah, let me, you know, I'm, I'm easy on the eyes, so I can get more airtime. So they're going back and get another ring. Yeah. I know. I know. All, All right. right. Well, that will do it for this week's episode, everyone. Give us a call at 385 309 0311. Calling time. Uh, also, send us an email to survivorjjc at Gmail. Dot com. Looks like that's SurvivorJJC at gmail.com. Do we have any phone calls? I didn't check. I, there was none that came in. That's true. They go to our phone. So. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. get a, you get no, I was going to say, how did you not? You didn't check, but none came in. Uh, no, it's like. A, you, I, I know. I phone. see that you get you get a uh, yeah. Yeah. notification. Notification. Um, <laughs> Too bad you couldn't have got a notification that your number was going to. You're going to lose your number. Uh, he I did. Know. We just. Oh, oh you ignored it? Seven. Not for oh, 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 um, That's That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. What else was I was going to say? I completely forgot. Oh, uh, <laughs> this show is produced and co-hosted and uh, in the origin music by me, Jay Glatfelter. Also <laughs> hosted by Jack Glatfelter and Colleen Glatfelter. Artwork yep, by I, Jacob Carr. I just get a host? That's it? Yeah, you host it. You're one of the hosts. Okay, all right. You got a I mean, little more. We do okay. just show up. Uh, no, but Colleen we're the does talent. write the recap. Colleen does recap. We're the talent, Jack. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yes, all right. Yes, that's cool. Um, We're the ones that don't really complain or grumpy before we start recording. You, you guys are the, uh, what's his name from The Wonders? The talent. You mean the Oneaters? I quit. Why am I blanking on his name? I don't know. You've seen that movie more the, than me. The drummer. No, the drummer is the smart oh, one. Oh, uh, uh, Jimmy. We're Yeah, we were talking about that because I want to punch Jimmy in the face. Yeah, exactly. You guys are the Jimmys. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to be. I don't want to be Jimmy. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm Guy I'd Patterson. Rather, I'd rather be the Joker. I'm. I'm Skitch. Or sketch, the Fool. Sketch. Is it the Fool? <coughs> the Fool. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyway, sorry. That's a tangent. Uh. Jacob does the artwork. Rob does our website. <coughs> Colleen does. What? What's your title? What are we giving you? I don't know. Website bitch. <laughs> no. That's <laughs> wow. Offensive. I would never say that. No. I, I know. I've been I saying no web idea. mistress, but. Web, but I'm not really a web, web mistress. person. Because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just the person nice that... Drink. I'm just the person that uploads things and hits post. So post sometimes manager? I fix Nick's, gra- uh, fix Nick's grammar when he gives me recaps. <laughs> well, we all have to do that. Yeah, sometimes I don't, though. Sometimes everybody I'm like, knows, there's no fixing Everybody this. knows that Nick can't read. Um, <laughs> or write, apparently. <laughs> well, I sent Nick an idea for a shirt. He sent it back. I just said, no, I don't want the grammar corrected. I want to know, do you like the shirt? <laughs> Did he really send it back with the grammar? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Hysterical to me, actually. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, <laughs> for those that give uh, $5 or more a month, you'll get the special bonus uh, episode for Survivor JJC. And uh, everything else on the net. Challenge network. cast. Uh, there's also a broadcast bonus episode. Also, there's uh, the Ramblecast. Ramblecast. Uh, weekly Ramblecast bonus. Yeah, we got yes. a little deep in that one. Um, well, and then, that, I didn't mean to say it that way. I was going to say you also talk about Robert Kraft. So, do we yeah. want to know how deep you get? Ooh. Moving on. Um, also, the first Jane Jack show bonus episode uh, will be coming up next. I can't week. wait to listen to that one. 
Oh, sure. I'm sure you will. Uh, and that, and I want to thank those patrons that make this show possible. All of them, especially oh, we have a- Tokyo, Eckhart Richter, uh, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with the plan, the Drake, and Ed, the creepy mailman. Woohoo! What did nice you want to say, Oh, nothing. I was going to say the Walking Dead with Joel and Jeremy came back. Surprise, surprise return today. Well, so. there you go. If you like Walking Dead, for yeah. all three of you that still watch it. <laughs> um, all right. I think that is it. We'll see you all next time. Hasta luego. And goodbye. Peace out.